Today we're checking out the SteelSeries alias microphone, and this microphone is going to be perfect for streamers and content creators alike. In the box you're obviously going to get the microphone itself, attached to the stand, a USB Type-C to A cable, also an adapter allowing you to hook this thing to a boom arm, and finally some instructions. The design of the microphone is pretty minimal, but also extremely high quality, and while it does feel a bit gamery, in a sense, it's not too over the top. It has more of a mature look and feel, which is backed up by the genuinely nice cloth material that they're using on the front of the microphone, which just makes it clean and modern in my opinion. You also have these shock protection cables, which are part of the shock mount, which will help any vibrations and noise from the surrounding area when you're using the microphone. The stand itself is made from high quality plastic, which has some metal inside of it as well as a nice rubber base to prevent it from sliding around. The plastic does extend to the stand, but there's also some high quality metal surrounding the shock protection. As far as adjusting the microphone, the little screw allows you to orient the microphone up or down in a position that you're comfortable while using the microphone. As for the features of the microphone, it does have some pretty nifty features as we'll get onto now. On the front, you get a captive mute button. Then you get a headphone dial, which following around to the back reveals a headphone jack and you'll be able to plug your own headphones in to hear your own voice while using the microphone. Personally, I wouldn't use this feature, but it's a nice to have. You also get a USB Type-C port, which allows you to connect your microphone to the computer. And lastly, you get a nifty microphone gain, which allows you to adjust the microphone gain. They should have had the microphone gain control on the front of the microphone instead of the back, but it's not a big deal. Powering on the microphone is pretty simple. All we must do is plug in the included USB Type-C cable into the back of the microphone itself. And once it's plugged in, all we have to do now is plug it into our computer. Now you're hearing the SteelSeries alias microphone, and this is what it sounds like about 7 inches away from our mouth. This microphone uses a cardioid pickup pattern, meaning you'll have to speak directly into it to get the most out of it. Moving away from the microphone means you're going to lose volume pretty quickly, and it won't sound as good as you can see. It's not picking up as much. And even if I flip around the microphone, it can't really pick up much. So you've really got to make sure that you're speaking directly in front of the microphone if you want to get the best sound out of it. A cool feature it does have though are these little indicators for the volume while you're speaking. And if you start speaking loudly or tap the microphone closer to the capsule, it starts turning red. And you can either turn down the gain control or you can lower your volume of voice. And with the capacitive mute button we talked about earlier, when you press it, it lights up with red LEDs in an X. So you know when the microphone is muted. There's also this cool RGB LED right at the bottom of the microphone. It's not too over the top and it shines through assorted colors and actually bounces off the base a little bit for a nice and subtle effect. There's also going to be some software with which you can configure the microphone, including some basic equalizers and gain control. You can also customize what it sounds like for different games. We're also getting some presets for different games. And if you scroll down, there's also a section for spatial audio, which makes it sound more like a surround sound setup. You also get chat settings, allowing you to customize settings for that, including AI noise cancellation. There's also the media settings, which has many of the same controls like spatial audio, as we've already seen, as well as an equalizer. And then the aux settings, it allows you to control the settings for the headphones connected to your microphone, including the equalizer, the spatial audio, and volume and smart volume. Finally, in the microphone menu, you get the full control over the microphone, including the equalizer, the AI noise cancellation, noise reduction, noise gate, and the compressor, where the noise gate is only silent when you're talking. Overall, it's a cool microphone with lots of features right out of the gate. It's a cool little upgrade for anyone who's a streamer or a content creator. In my opinion, it's an excellent microphone. And I'll have purchase links to Amazon in the description below if you want to check it out. Anyways, guys, that's all for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, make sure to check out this video on the screen right now.